welcome to the Daily Visual Bible. I'm Robbie Yates. Before we go any further, I'm going to show you how easy it is to subscribe to this channel. Now pay close attention. At the beginning of the video, you should see a little box in the top right corner. Click on this. Let's take you to this page. At this point there, you just click that. And hey Pesto, you've subscribed. As an added bonus, if I manage to reach 100 subscribers, by the start of September 2013, I'm going to send all my subscribers a very special thank you video. Don't forget, if you wish to discuss any of the matters discussed in the show, you can email me here at Daily Visual Bible by using this address. Now let's do the right thing and I'm God's word with prayer. Lord, I ask that as I read your word, you reveal something new to me. I also ask that as people see and hear your word, they will come to a better understanding of you. Amen. Genesis chapter 21 Yahweh visited Sarah as he had said, and Yahweh did to Sarah as he had spoken. Sarah became pregnant and bore Abraham a son in his old age, at the set time of which God had spoken to him. Abraham called his son, who was born to Sarah, Isaac. Abraham circumcised his son Isaac when he was eight days old, as God had commanded him. Abraham was 100 years old, and his son Isaac was born to him. So it said, God has made me laugh. Everyone who hears will laugh with me. She said, Who would have said to Abraham that Sarah would nurse children? I have borne him a son in his old age. The child grew and was weaned. Abraham made a great feast on the day that Isaac was weaned. So her son, the son of Hagar, the Egyptian, whom she had born to Abram, mocking. Therefore she said to Abram, Cast out the servant and her son, for the son of this servant will not be heir with my son Isaac. The thing was very upsetting in Abram's sight on account of his son. God said to Abram, Don't let it be upsetting in your sight because of the boy, because of your servant. And all that Sarah said to you, listen to her voice. For your offspring will be accounted as far from Isaac. I will also make a nation of the son of the servant, because he is your child. Abraham rose early in the morning, and took bread and a bottle of water, and gave it to Hagar, putting it on her shoulder, and gave her the child, and sent her away. She departed, and wandered in the wilderness of Bathsheba. The water in the bottle was spent, and she cast the child on one of the shrubs. She went and sat down opposite him, a good way off, about a bow shot away, for she said, Don't let me see the death of the child. She sat over against him, and lifted up her voice and wept. God heard the voice of the boy. The angel of God called to Agar out of the sky, and said to her, I aid you, Agar. Don't be afraid. God has heard the voice of the boy where he is. Get up, lift up the boy, and hold him in your hand. I will make him a great nation. God opened her eyes, and she saw a well of water. She went, filled the bottle with water, and gave the boy drink. God was with the boy, and he grew. He lived in the wilderness, and became, as he grew up, an archer. He lived in the wilderness of Paran. His mother took a wife for him, out of the land of Egypt. At that time, Abimelech and Phicol, the captain of his army, spoke to Abraham, saying, God is with you, in all that you do. Now therefore, swear to me here, by God, that you will not deal falsely with me, or with my son, or with my son's son. But according to the kindness that I have done to you, you shall do to me, and to the land in which you have lived as a foreigner. Abraham said, I will swear. Abraham complained to Abimelech because of a water well which Abimelech's servants had finally taken away. Abimelech said, I do not know who has done this thing. You didn't tell me, and I didn't hear of it until today. Abraham took sheep and cattle and gave them to Abimelech. Those two made a covenant. Abraham set seven ewe lambs of the flock by themselves. Abimelech said to Abraham, what do these seven ewe lambs which you have set down mean? He said, You shall take these seven ewe lambs from my hand, that it may be a witness to me, 
that I have done this well. Therefore he called that place Bathsheba, because they both swore there. So they made a covenant at Bathsheba. Abimelech grows up with Hyco, the captain of his army, and they returned into the land of the Philistines. Abram planted a tamarisk tree in Beersheba and called there on the name of Yahweh, the everlasting God. Abram lived as a foreigner in the land of the Philistines many days. <laughs>